Read or listen to all of the headlines in one place. Excerpts from the Drone Life Drone News of the Week, June 17. Click on the links below to read or listen to each story in full. The Drone News of the Week. Whisk Aero signs agreement to bring autonomous air taxi program to Australia. Advanced Air Mobility, AAM, leader Whisk Aero has formed a partnership with the Council of Mayors South East Queensland in order to introduce its autonomous air taxi service to the region. Whisk will also be bringing on locally based personnel to expand its physical presence in Australia. London Biggin Hill Airport deploys Altitude Angels Guardian UTM. This week, UTM, Unified Traffic Management, leader Altitude Angel revealed that London Biggin Hill has become the most recent airport to make use of its proprietary Guardian UTM Enterprise platform. The platform, launched in March 2021, offers airports and airfields an intuitive and affordable way to manage on- and off-site drone operations. It takes a bird to stop a bird, the Robird registered flying robot defends airports against bird strikes. At the Edmonton International Airport and Grand Forks International Airport in North Dakota, a peregrine falcon soars near the runway to deter birds from interfering with air traffic. It looks real. But it's not. It's a flying robot called the Robird Registered. Robird has wings that flap. It flies, like a falcon, for five-minute high-impact stints. Also like its counterpart in nature, the Robird can reach speeds of up to 27 miles per hour. Aerial Cities, the VIP event bringing together European cities, aviation authorities, and drone company executives. Earlier this month, Bern Switzerland-based Drone Talks Academy announced its inaugural invitation-only Aerial Cities event. Drone Talks co-founders and event organizers, Esther Kovacs and Lorenzo Merzilli, slated this two-day conference to take place on Thursday and Friday, November 17th and 18th at the Stufenbaugh event location in Bern. Japan's Night Hawks fly drone search and rescue missions after dark in Nishikawa. Japan's Night Hawks Search and Rescue Service are a drone team using infrared technology to perform missions at night. The Night Hawks Search and Rescue Team has signed an agreement with Nishikawa Town, Yamagata Prefecture Agreement to begin nighttime, drone-enabled search and rescue services for the town from May through November. Defend on dawn of drones June 15, Counter Drone Technology and the Emerging Drone Society How does the evolution of drone technology affect the emerging drone society? How can counter drone technologies safely protect society, while allowing authorized drones to provide benefits to the world? How will trends in drone technology impact counter drone technology? How will trends in uncrewed aircraft system traffic management, UTM, affect drone and counter drone technology? Learn about all of this and more this week with Defend on the Dawn of Drones podcast. Determination to be a global drone hub clear in India's first government approved drone announcement. India's first government approved drone, the Agrabot, was certified in only 35 days the latest evidence of the country's determination to support domestic drone manufacturing and become a global drone hub. India's Union Aviation Minister has awarded the first type certificate issued under the 2021 drone rules to Girogram-based IoTech World for their precision agriculture tool Agribot. Asalon scores BVLOS waiver for automated security drone system. This week, Leading air and ground robotic security company Asalon Incorporated revealed that it has been granted three beyond visual line of sight BVLOS, waivers from the Federal Aviation Administration FAA. Pertaining to the company's automated security drone in a box system and service, these waivers will authorize Asalon to conduct BVLOS operations within four initial sites around the U.S. Though similar waivers have been granted to groups such as Google's Wing, Zipline, Excel Energy, and Matternet, this is the first time a waiver of this class has been granted for an automated security drone system. Quantum Systems and Propeller Aero, Trinity F90 Plus drone compatible with 3D mapping software. This week, Advanced Evetol UIV developer Quantum Systems and Drone Data Visualization and Analytics platform Propeller Aero announced a joint effort to enable compatibility between Propeller's site surveying and 3D mapping software and the Quantum Systems Trinity F90 Plus drone. 
Propeller's post-processed kinematic solution, PPK, allows for flawless surveying and 3D mapping of construction, mining, and earthworks worksites. Pairing it with the Quantum Systems Trinity F90 Plus large-scale mapping drone enables contractors to improve survey accuracy, complete the otherwise weeks-long data collection process in a matter of hours, and rapidly share digital models with team members. FAA Drone Safety Day is Saturday, June 18, FlyRight. The 2022 FAA Drone Safety Day is this Saturday, June 18, an opportunity for everyone in the drone industry to ensure that the skies continue to open for all. As the use of drones continues to expand, regulatory authorities like the FAA have worked to ensure that all flyers know the rules. More than 800,000 drones have been registered, over 260,000 remote pilots have been certified. Indoor Robotics Tando Drone Startup scores $15 million for building security solution. Following the recent launch of its Tando drone, Indoor Robotics announced that it has closed $15 million in its series A Round of Funding. The round, led by Patengo and with contributions by Target Global, European Innovation Council Fund, and Spider Capital, will provide indoor robotics with the ability to increase product development and enable intelligent indoor security worldwide. Read stories in full on dronelife.com.